coming up on today's episode of Airborne and Man. Deroni Aerospace H1 eVTOL model announced. Also, Valkyrie systems selected for VTOL design. And air speeder racers begin production. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned program, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. Hi, I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. Deroni Aerospace H1 eVTOL model announced. Deroni Aerospace introduced its showroom model, digital replica, and 1-1 scale propulsion system to investors during a webinar. The H-1 is an electric, multi-rotor vertical takeoff aircraft with seating for two. The H-1 is slated to carry up to 500 pounds of cargo when piloted remotely, or a pilot and up to 200 pounds of passenger payload. It will include an energy-dissipating, lightweight body with cabin airbags, an emergency parachute, and an anti-collision avoidance system. The aircraft will include many common eVTOL hallmarks, from the fly-by-wire control systems to the combined fuselage, ducted rotors, and fixed-wing design made to increase lift and reduce drag while allowing maximum vertical thrust. Current specifications make mention of a redundant hybrid energy backup, but the majority of its power needs will be met by a lithium-ion battery. The current Phase 2 mock-up has attained liftoff with a full-scale 643-pound prototype. Hovering tests have helped direct some Phase 3 design targets and necessary changes. With further investment, Doroni will complete the design proper of a single and two-seater aircraft, then finalize the propulsion and control systems. With prototypes built, performance aerodynamics, load, and flight testing can be started prior to airworthiness certifications. We got more news after the break. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. I believe that if people use the landing doctor training program, they will have less accidents and eventually their insurance will go down and they will make a superior pilot. We do personal limitation checklists, which is the most important reason you need to fly with limits. We do ground proximity awareness training and we do this with a crosswind. We've been operating six Bristels for two years without one insurance claim. The Landing Doctor program is working and you're going to hear more about it. Welcome back. In the next Unmanned Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. FAA accepts DRL as Drone Public Event Organizer. The FAA has accredited the Drone Racing League as the first unmanned aircraft systems event organizer. The league has been building up a resume over the 2021-2022 World Championship season, putting on a series of races that met their safety protocols, working with the FAA's Partnership for Safety Plan. While it has not been disclosed if this change will result in all upcoming races, including live in-person viewership, the upcoming World Championship race in Las Vegas, Nevada, will include it. NASA explores supernova black holes and other mysteries. 
NASA has launched its new X-ray polarimetry explorer mission aboard a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket on December 9th from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. The joint mission with the Italian Space Agency, the XP Observatory, is the first mission dedicated entirely to studying the polarization of X-rays from some of the oddest objects in the universe, including supernova black holes, high-energy stars, and other phenomena too difficult to study with terrestrial equipment. H3 Dynamics launches all-in-one drone pad. H3 Dynamics has revealed what kept them busy during their 2020 lockdown, releasing a multi-function landing platform that aims to replace personnel in the field deployment by completing all the regular upkeep of unmanned systems in the field. The system can update navigation information, charge batteries, store and dock with the drone on its built-in landing pad. Once attached, the system can retrieve, manage, process and transmit data without direct human oversight. Parrot UAS releases 4G LTE long-range drone. Parrot has announced a new version of its Anafi drone, the 4G LTE connected enterprise platform. Anafi AI, equipped with a HDR10 48 megapixel camera suite, sensor survey capability, single click photogrammetry, onboard drone SDK, fully autonomous capability, the drone adds a much longer ranged option to the pilot portfolio. Using ubiquitous Verizon LTE network, the AI can fly unrestrained by direct line of sight and Wi-Fi networks, enabling a wider range of targets to be surveyed. That was our Unmanned Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. Valkyrie system selected for VTOL design. AFWorks, the Air Force Research Laboratory's innovation arm, has selected the companies to move forward with its HSV Toll Concept Challenge. The concept would be a new UAV system outside of the current roster that could offer a quantitative leap in the SOCOM capabilities. Valkyrie's Guardian Eagle Hover Jets offer three distinct modes of operation being capable of hovering, traditional flight, and amphibious operation. Their all-terrain operation allows for landing on water, ice, and rough terrain as needed, with sufficiently aggressive thrust vectoring to brave most weather conditions, according to company press. The stealth design allows for risk mitigation during infiltration, aided by advanced sensor suites to allow threat detection long-range before contact. The Guardian is a full-size, optionally piloted aircraft slated to carry 7,000 pounds of cargo at sea level with fully autonomous flight capability. When used in VTOL mode, it sports a 2,000-pound useful load. The aircraft measures 24 by 30 by 6 with a 340-mile-per-hour cruise speed, 15-hour endurance, and 40,000-foot ceiling. Its younger brother, the Eagle, is an unmanned 158-pound aircraft capable of 600 pounds of cargo in normal flight, or 200 pounds in VTOL flight. The UAV sports a 138-mile-per-hour cruise, a 7-hour endurance, and 29,500-foot service ceiling. Coming up after these messages, airspeeder racers begin production. Those details after the break. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 Remote Pilot Certificate or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Pilot Communications USA is proud to introduce our latest headsets, the Carbon A1 Active Noise Reduction and the Carbon P1 Passive Headset. Carbon fiber makes our headsets 30% lighter than others, which significantly reduces pilot fatigue. Our Blue Link hand control unit allows you to connect two devices at the same time, and the record out capability can send audio to an onboard camera or digital recorder. Get the headset that's so light you may forget you're wearing one at pilot-usa.com. At Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. 
Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Welcome back. Airspeeder racers begin production in Adelaide. The upcoming Airspeeder flying car series is slated to be introduced in upcoming unmanned races between competing Mark III electric flying cars. The racers, built to fly when piloted remotely or directly, will initially undergo flight and safety testing prior to the remotely piloted race series. If all goes well, then the preceding races will see each aircraft piloted directly from the cockpit. The Mark III is the newest, latest, and greatest racer Alada has made. Featuring LiDAR and radar collision avoidance systems, a carbon fiber chassis and fuselage, and vastly improved powertrain over previous iterations. The car boasts a 96 kilowatt powertrain aboard a 100 kilogram dry weight, capable of speeds over 100 kilometers per hour. Mass production, or the closest thing to it, for a small batch high performance racer has begun in association with the South Australian government. Their 20 million AUS support for the Australian space park has been instrumental in building the infrastructure needed to make a cutting edge next generation factory. This will rapidly accelerate accelerate a mobility revolution and place Adelaide on the map as the world-class center of innovation, said Matt Pearson, a lot of CEO. Specific race dates will be announced as the 2022 season nears. That does it for our show today. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. You can catch episodes of Airborne on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Air and News or Airborne in the directory. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.